Shalom, Shalom, Kohalo Yahawa, by Shirm Yahushai, by Shirm Kakbarash, that by honor said others possibly great millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect other nation of Israel, and to speak of Israelites that are scattered abroad that look like the heathen nations to y'all say Shalom, and Shalom to all your brothers and sisters that could be out here listening learn to my videos. And shall I warm to all you brothers and all you Akim that's out there laboring out there in the highways and byways doing the work of the Yahweh. Why should we have a shot these latter times? Trying to wake up the elect. Um, and I also, also want to say this video is for the Israelites, only the elect. Uh, the Israelites are who you call today so called black, so called Hispanic, so called Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, um, Haitian, Jamaican, um, Guatemala, the Panamanians, those are the Israelites, always have been, always will be. But I'm basically coming back at y'all with another video today. Um, some end time headlines, man. And as you can see, um, you know, it says, could we enter the tribulation into 2023? Now, the, the scriptures speak on, you know, a time like never before, you know, um, like that's Daniel 12 and 1 and the scriptures also speak on Jacob's trouble which those are all terms that are synonymous with all hell breaking loose man the time of the end right and um let me get this in second edges chapter 9 real quick um second edges chapter 9 right it says verse 5 it says for like it's all that is made in the world at the beginning and an end and the end is manifest even, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs right so you know there's a lot of you know mysterious things going on man you know in the earth that the lord has you know going on right now it's a lot of different things man you can't really keep up you got volcanoes you know erupting that ain't been erupting in, in years you know, of course, you got the scriptures speaking in the book of Matthews and in the book of Luke and, and Mark and John about, um, um, they speak on, you know, earthquakes in diverse places, famines, those things have been happening. But, um, you know, we're at the end of the end, you know, we're at the, well, the latter times are the latter times, man, you know, because it's, the scriptures say, um, let's get, let's get second edge six and nine, right? It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, and that word world is the end of the age, a time period, right? And, um, we know, you know, Esau, Edom is the biblical nationality of the so called white man, the so called white race. You know, it's like a doomsday picture, you know, a that fire coming down, destroying everything, which is basically World War Three. You know, that's their de declaration of, uh, you know, doomsday or. They call it an alien invasion, which really is, is Yahweh, man, our Savior, right? Who the world calls Jesus, man. He's not, he, he Jesus ain't coming back. Yahweh is coming back because Jesus ain't his name, right? And he ain't no damn so called white man, you know? Um, If you can still believe in that in this time period, you just, you gone. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, you know? But, um, yeah, man, you know. Uh, you know, cause Esau is basically letting you know that you know the end is the end is here, man. He, he Esau knows himself that he don't have a lot of time. He he knows that, man. Let's get that in the book of uh, Revelations, man, real quick, right? Cause you know the, the spirit been having me go in on these uh on this year, man. It's it's something different about twenty twenty three. Like I really feel like twenty twenty three could be the end of. This, this eon, man, you know, Yahweh could truly, truly come back, right? It, 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 it could, you know, he could really come back, man. After all the waiting brothers been doing, after all the laboring, teaching, you know, they've been dealing with scoffing and, you know, the, the Lord could come back next year, man, you, you know, so-called next year. We don't know, but we do know we are really close, Right? Cause like I said, all the signs are are, are there, you know. Esau, he has set the stage for all hell to break loose, man. 
It's just only a matter of time before he pulled them before he pulled them strings, man. Or he uh ties the knot, so to speak, and he just lets stuff happen. Right? Because Revelation 12, verse 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, and woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, which is Esau Edom, right? The biblical nationality of the so-called white man. The devil is not some red man with a pitchfork, man. It's, it's uh, synonymous with a, group, a, a nation of people having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time, right? And this devil, man, he's going to cause these different things, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem because really it's the Lord making him do it. So we don't want to give this devil credit because he ain't doing anything that the Lord ain't making him do, right? Just, you know, the Esau is this man's sword, you know, so he's going to cause different events, you know, t to happen, to take place, you know, because ultimately, you know, if you think about it, because Esau Edom, you know, the so-called white man, he has his own little vision of what he wants the world to be like, and... You know, they got that thing going on called the Great Reset. So, whenever you want to reset something, you have to, you know, basically uh, move everything that you already got set up out the way in order to reset. You can't reset without, you know, moving everything out the way first, right? And that's what Esau wants to do. You know, with the society, he wants to change everything, you know, make it completely brand new. So, therefore, he has to kill off, you know, people you know, that's a part of their, their plan, the depopulation. You know, they got people jabbed up. They got, they spraying stuff in the air. They could, you know, I, I don't remember if I did a video on it, but they, they doing all types of stuff, man. Weaponizing the food, you know, weaponizing us through medicine, the water. Ain't nothing pure, man. The only thing that's pure is, is these words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shine, man. You know, that's the only thing that's pure, man, that we got. You know, the Holy Spirit. Something that you can't feel, you can't touch. It's just just in you. You know? And um, you, that you got the MOTBs. It's, it's on the Dr. Phil show. It's mainstream right before 2023. Is that a coincidence? No. And I remember hearing about, a, um, I think it was some so-called, I don't know if he was a professor I don't know what he was, but it was. I remember I seen the video of this so-called white man um, a couple of months ago talking about you know twenty twenty three could be the year of hell, and it just made me think of that um, you know great tribulation, like it says right here. And it's not a coincidence, man. It's not a coincidence that whoever owns end time headlines. Now I think whoever owns this is like a Christian, like they believe everybody can be saved and all that. But like I said, man, all the signs are there. You know, I mean. I mean, you only got, it's only but so long, man. It's only but so long. Right? Let's get this in the book of Daniel, um, chapter 12, um, verse 1. Right? It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was, since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, that people should be delivered. Everyone that it, that should be found written in the book, right? You know, hey, the the top angel under Yahweh is going. He's going to defend the elect of Israel, man. The Israelites, man. You know, when this time does come, man, when everything just pop off, you know, because you got a lot of people right now. They they dying of that of that uh, serum that they took. You know, a lot of people was getting sick. Hey, I, I even was feeling something. I didn't take this stuff, man. You know? So, you know, uh, and everybody, man, you got people that still believe in that. Ain't nothing going to happen. Because it ain't fully broke out yet, but it will happen. You know, and that's going to be a day that you at least expect it. <laughs> or it's going to be suddenly. Right? That's why the Lord told us told us to um you know watch and as well as pray. Let me get that. Let me get that scripture in the book of Luke real quick. Um, I guess Luke twenty four and thirty six. I believe. I believe so. All right. Is this it? No, that's not it. It's Luke twenty three and thirty six. It's a lot here. Um. Look you. Um Let's 
Luke 21, that's where it is. It says, um, Luke 21, uh, verse, I'm going to start at verse 34. It says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts, many of your mind, be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness, and that cares of this life, and so that this day come upon you on the wares. For as a snare should come upon all them that dwell upon the face of the whole earth, right? As a snare is a trap, man, because they're not going to be paying attention. And when a trap comes, you don't expect it. That's why you that's why you trapped. And when that trap when you in that trap, you can't get out. Um it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things and shall come to pass and shall stand before the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shah. You know, and that's what we gotta do. You know, and this is what we watching for. Because, you know, this person who I know who, who, who I don't know who the person is, obviously, but the person who's in control of this end time headlines, they pay attention. They know, you know, they see what these top stock stock investors or these so called economists, you know, Edomites are saying. You know, um, the um, keepers of the house, so to speak, these Edomites that basically control the financial system and that are in politics, they're all saying the same thing, man. If you've been if you've been paying attention to this economy, everything has went up. You know, and like I said, they I did a video. I think yesterday about the CBDC, you know, they're, they're introducing that, man. You know, that is mainstream news. I mean, they're not talking about it really on the mainstream media. Like, if you turn on your local news station, but you you might, you're going to see the MOTB definitely because the Dr. Phil show showed it. And that's on, the, that's on your, you know, your, your mainstream news channel. So, all the signs are there, man. You know, all the signs are there. You still got this, you know, so-called uh, C19 out. Right, but that was that was nothing, man. Esau got way more, you know, uh, candy in the bag, so to speak. He got a lot more things to pull out, man. You know, and that's how you know we're getting ready to come into the, a heavy time, cause you know, right now the last couple of months has been kind of quiet. Really, twenty the whole twenty twenty two. I I don't I don't want to say it like that, but you know, it wasn't as bad as twenty twenty. And twenty twenty one was still you know still COVID. Or it was still the pandemic. And it ain't really will it really went away, but it just kinda calmed down. But twenty twenty three is definitely when everything is gonna ramp back up because they supposed to be also introducing the, the real ID. So it's a lot of things that's gonna go down. Twenty twenty three, man. That's a lot of things that's gonna gonna go down, man. I, I could I could believe it. You know? I believe it will happen. You know, do I know for sure? No. But I believe it will happen. Right, um, let me get this in um Isaiah twenty four and um four. It says the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away, and the hearts people of the earth do languish. Right, um, let's get this in uh verse verse eight real quick. It says the mirth of the tabernacle ceaseth. And the noise of them that they rejo rejoiceth endeth, and the joy of the harp ceaseth, and they shall not drink wine with a with a song. Strong drink should be bitter to them that drink it right. You know, a lot of people they they try to drink alcohol or do drugs to basically you know uh get away from reality and you know they trying to you know party it up, but it, it ain't gonna work, man. You can't escape the sorrows, man. That's coming, man. It's the scriptures say we in the beginning of sorrows, man. You know, the scriptures also say, um, what does it say, uh, great, uh, many evils shall happen to them at the will in the latter times because they had walked in great pride, man. You know, this is, uh, verse 10, it says, the city of confusion is broken down and every house is shut up that no man may come in, right? It says, there is a crying for wine, crying for answers in, in the streets, all joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone, right? Verse 12, it says, and the city is left to desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction, Right? And that's just about to happen, man. You know, Lord willing, twenty twenty three is the year. Lord willing, Lord willing, I'm saved, man. Lord, you know, not we know that we ain't Christians. You know, we don't mean to like, oh, we saved right now. No, Lord willing, we get saved. Lord willing, we are those men. Lord willing, we are part of that number and brothers' families. You know, um, you know, but um, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. You know, stay watching, stay occupying prophecy, man, and. Um, you know, keep fasting and praying and, you know, seeking Yahweh Shemiah and Shaka's. We're going to need them. 
And these times that we coming in, man, and especially when Esau, you know, put a plug, man, on the system, you know, and that's when all hell going to break loose, man, you know. But, um, hey, I'm going to close out, you know, um, all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakbadash, um, Jabba Anas, the eldest apostle, great millstone, Shalom to the elect, Wa Ababa Ba, Shalom.